Moving on, Greater Local Mining Community and Rustenburg Business Forum is marching to the JSE. A memorandum of demands was handed over to JSE CEO. One of their demands is that they want to be employed by the mines. They say the mine is employing people from outside of Rustenburg. The community is demanding a radical economic transformation in the mining sector. We started a chamber of mines. We even went to TMR. We, we submitted memorandums. And then where, where we submitted the memorandums, they were delaying tactics in a way whereby we ended up applying for JSE. So the, our march for today, what we want to see is that we are saying we are supporting the mining charter as communities. And we are also supporting the radical economic transformation because blacks are not empowered in the mining industry. And we are saying enough is enough to retrenchment and enough is enough to those all shafts who had, what were, what, that were closed in 2012. We are saying they must be reopened in, with immediate effect because these people, as you can see them, they need jobs. There is no way whereby there can be so many shafts in our, in our areas closed without no reasons. Well, we will be keeping you up to date with regards to the latest details of that march. But uh, the Rustenburg Business Forum marching to the Johannesburg uh, Stock Exchange. Uh, these are some of the visuals uh, coming to us uh, from that march. Earlier reports from our reporter on the ground suggested that the number of people involved in this march was between 2,000 and 2,500 people. They are demanding a radical economic transformation uh, in the mining sector and also stating that they are unhappy about uh, mines in Rustenburg employing people from outside of Rustenburg. They are saying that people who live in the area should be awarded those jobs. We do know that they will then hand over a memorandum of demands to the CEO of the JSE. As we can see there, a large amount of people uh, holding up uh, placards asking for radical economic transformation in the mining sector. We will be chatting to our reporter uh, in a short while from now just to find out what the latest details are with regards to that march and whether or not we've heard anything from the JSE itself. We do also know that there was a large uh, police presence uh, in the area. Earlier we saw uh, both Metro Police and South African Police a service on the ground as well. Thousands of people marching uh, in the streets uh, of the CBD, holding up placards. But stay tuned to ANN7. We are going to keep you up to date with more details and developments here. Well, let's go live to our reporter now who comes to us uh, live uh, from the streets of Johannesburg. A, a good afternoon to you. Just give us the latest details here. Has that memorandum of demands been handed over to the CEO of the JSE? Good afternoon to you and to the viewers at home. Uh, as you've known, we've been marching with the marches from the George Lear Park in Santon and uh, the greater local mining community have finally arrived. They have made it to the JSE, uh, the, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. It's been a long road, it's been a long journey and they have finally made it to make their pleas heard. All they want is basically radical economic transformation into the mining sectors. One of their main pleas is that they live in Rust uh, where it's filled with mines, yet they are not employed by uh, the mines there. And they're also saying that um, the mines there are, uh, employ people from outside, yet they are unemployed. So all they want is to come and uh, give a memorandum of understanding to the JSE CEO, just to say that, you know what, let your investors know that um, we are living in poverty. Not only are they unemployed, some of them were actually retrenched from the mines in Marigan. So they have finally arrived. We are yet to see what the response of the JSE is. Thank you. We're behind you. I see a large amount of people holding up placards. Just uh, take us through what some of those placards are saying and just talk us through the current situation uh, taking place behind you on the ground. Well, some of the placards are saying that lawnmen must give us jobs. Lawnmen must give us jobs. Uh, one of the organizers did say that uh, they want the old shops, uh, which have been closed from 2012, to be reopened so that jobs can then be given to the people of Rustenburg. Some of them are, are from Brit, uh, just before you get to Rustenburg. So around close to 2,000 people are here, all the way from Rustenburg, in plea for jobs. Thank you. We do 
do know that the new mining charter was uh, released uh, not too long ago. Have you gotten an opportunity to engage with some of these people with regards to their thoughts on, on what the minister had to say? Well, yes, I have engaged with the organizer and I have asked him about his stance on the mining charter. They say they are all for the mining charter, although they do not recognize the Chamber of Mines, but they are all for the mining charter. They seem to be all also standing individually apart from any other organization saying that all we want is to be employed by Lonman Mines and all the other mines around Rustenburg. We see engagements taking place uh, behind you. Just talk us through who exactly is addressing the, uh, the crowd currently. What are they saying? Please repeat that again. I can't hear you. It's quite loud out here. Engagements taking place behind you. People are addressing the crowds. Just talk us through what's happening there. Well, the people have just arrived, so it's been quite chaotic. So I think the leaders are just trying to calm them down into saying now um, uh, we have arrived. This is what we're going to do. Let's just treat this in a calm manner and try not to be violent. So um, the police presence is quite heavy, just to, you know, just to make sure that things are quite peaceful and uh, are in an organized manner. Uh, traffic has been blocked. As you can see, they're applauding. It seems like they agree with whatever that is being said to them in terms of uh, the memorandum of, of understanding that's going to be handed over to the CEO. But uh, other than that, we'll just have to find out uh, what they're discussing. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tlengiwe. Let's leave it there for now. ANSM reporter Tlengiwe Mutaung joining us live there uh, from outside the JSE, where a memorandum of demands will now be delivered to the CEO of the JSE. The Rustenburg Mining Forum is demanding radical economic transformation takes place within the mining sector. And also some of their job concerns uh, needs to be addressed. We will be checking in with our reporter throughout the day for further details here.